Good morning, everybody. I'm down here in the garden, but I'm coming down to paint. But I brought down some clips with me for this, but I don't need them yet. And I see I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a trellis is what I'm gonna have to do. But I was gonna clip this rose to on here. This one here needs a little bit of trimming back there, which I'll do in a minute. But first I'm gonna go paint. I'm trying to get as much Peeping Jenny to grow here as possible so I can take it from my pots. <laughs> oh, struggling. <laughs> Anyways, everything's looking really good this morning. I just used the blower because I'm still getting tons of residual from the trees. Um, this cherry tree is a non-stop work. First it does the flowers, which is beautiful. Then it has all the residual stuff left over from the flowers, which is not so beautiful. As you see, it's everywhere in the ground, like that. You can't really blow that away because it'll blow the mulch. You just have to let it go by itself. There's still tons in the trees too. So it's another week or two of that. And then it's um, cherries and then they start falling. So this tree is a lot of work, a lot of work. It's pretty when it blooms and other than that, the cherries are good, but they're too far up now. So I'm gonna clean these chairs and I'm gonna paint them. Paint. First, I'm gonna spray paint this lantern that I got. Um, I'm just shaking up the spray paint. It really needs a good shaking. I'll do that first. I washed uh, two new pillow shams to bring out and try them too. Just gonna give this a new coat and then I'll come back and give it a, another one after. I have to turn it anyways. And I'll just give this a light coat too. On both sides. And then I'll come back in and um, give it a second coat. Okay, the first coat's on. Just gonna let it dry for a little bit and then I'll come back and put a second one on. Sitting on a really rickety stool, which I shouldn't be doing, but I am. Anyways, here goes nothing. Stop painting because I have ruined so many clothes painting that I actually have a paint outfit now, which is this black t-shirt and a pair of leggings. So I had brought it downstairs yesterday because I was gonna do it yesterday and I forgot. And I had one of my men's shirts on, you know. But still, I like them. So I ran back upstairs to change. It looks a little better than it did. I hung that back up, just waiting for them to dry. And I was gonna paint this table, but it's really rotten. So I'm just painting on the outskirts of it and I'm gonna find a new one for there for the middle. But that's a hunt, no emergency for it. And I got two new pillows to put out here. I bought these a few years ago. Uh, the pillowcases. I just washed the pillows inside. They're a little lumpy now, but I'll fix them. And I'm going to run and get a cloche this and give this a little quick coat of paint. This is my potting shed. So she gets a little shabby after the potting season. The water is here. We performed a little surgery on a, um, the tenant downstairs and I um, helped a little guy fell off his bike. Cut his leg. Ah, he's not going to die or anything, but we put some uh, peroxide on it and ice and bandaged him all up and all of a sudden his dad was walking down the street with the dog so it was good timing. Just a neighborhood kid. Well, it's cleaned up a bit anyways. Better than they were. I just gotta take the plastic from underneath and now I'm gonna paint that other thing over here. If I have enough spray paint left, I gotta check first. I think I have enough paint to do this. I'm just gonna give it a really good scrub first and I'll get to it in about 20 minutes, I guess. Okay, it's just a quick little clean up. Far from perfect, but it cleans it up a little bit. And same with the potting shed that's already getting residual leaves on it that quick. But it's outside, right? It's holding up really well though, this shed. I've had it three years now. 20 to two, I've been out here about three, four hours. It goes so fast. And this looks good. I mean, could it look better? Sure. But I just threw on the little bit of paint that I had left in the jar. I didn't have a lot left over anyways. Definitely need a 
new table there, but I'll get it in time. But the garden's coming in really good. And these plants over here doing, I did that by seed, that one there. The other one's a creeping thyme. Looks good. And still looking for a ivy to go up and around. I gotta go get the white paint. I'm gonna paint the top up there if you can see that. It's left the residual left over from the mirror that fell down. I'm gonna paint that white and add a little bit of gold into it or something. You're looking at the stop sign. It's hard to see that, I guess. You'll see it when I paint it. But everything looks good. As good as it can for now. I'll turn all this after it dries for another week or so and get rid of all that. And I'm just gonna, I just wash this. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm gonna spray paint that. My new flowers are coming in really nice. They seem to, it took just fine. Oh, you know what I gotta check? Down here. Look at this, it's all growing too. Nasturtiums are really coming up. I don't know what I put in there, but it doesn't seem to be growing. And I probably need to add a little water in here. And I still didn't plant over here yet with this last bag. I just keep forgetting about it, but maybe I'll do that after I paint. I got paint on my hands, even though I wear gloves. Next time it rains, I'll dig that hole a little bit bigger. This host is finally coming in. Anyways, I feel like I'm walking through. A, this is coming in like really lush. Look at this tree. She's coming in good. She probably needs a trim up top. I tried to make it square and not one a triangle. And this one here, I don't know. It's my sorry friend, but I feel sorry for her. She's growing though. She needs a major hack job or taken out, but it's all good. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. This needs to be leveled off at the top. Definitely need to get that done. These are all things that'll happen over time through the summer, but not today. And my little teapot, she's just a blooming in here. Look at the orange ones, they're so pretty, right? That's my favorite color, orange and pink together. I need another coffee. <laughs> Anyways, I brought that down earlier today. Glad I saw it there, so I remember to take the cup up. Okay, everything looks good. I'm gonna play upstairs for a while after and uh, see how that's doing. Oh, I need to water those plants before I go up. Definitely need to do that. Give this all a good drink of water. And there was some seeds growing in here, but I don't know what they are. I'm just gonna, the nasturtiums are growing for sure. The squirrels dug up two of my impatience now and uh, took all of them out of the elephant ear. Okay, I'm gonna paint now. I was just talking to my sister. She's gonna send some pictures of she's just turning her garden. They're like two, well, I think they're zone eight or something, so they're way behind us here. But she's got her greenhouse going and all that, so let's look at it. I don't know where I'm gonna put this, but I really like it. I'm gonna upload my sister's videos. She just sent them to me. Oh, there's a big bumblebee. Um, I'm trying to figure where I can put this. Welcome to Heart River Homestead's greenhouse. Today we have tomatoes are doing good. A couple sweet peas up. These are brandy wines. And beautiful tasting tomato and these are romas and we have some radishes up and some parsley up and waiting for cucumbers lots of lettuce to thin and move into the garden and eat there's some cabbage to get planted in the garden some broccolis these are tomatoes that'll go in the garden tigrellas some of my little flower starts are up, spinach is up, and our spinach in this tub is ready to eat, start picking. Some radishes in the back, 
some little leeks in the front. Over here I have all kinds of leeks to get planted. These are marigolds, which are a great bug deterrent. I put them all over the garden around the edges. More parsley, because I dry that for winter, so I grow lots. And some of this spinach I can thin. Over here we had a little bit of frostbite on the coleus, so we cut them back. We got some Brussels sprouts, and I'm not doing a lot of flowers this year, so I'm going to do some geranium cuttings and some coleus cuttings. And whatever seeds I throw in, a little bit of oregano, an ivy I've been babying, and a lavender I kept alive all winter, some more tigrellas. And ready, set, grow. Garden, and I've been working on it all week, getting between raindrops, getting the bed shaped and de-weeded. We've got some potatoes in this bed and some strawberries in this bed, peas all along the fence, and some more Yukon gold potatoes in this bed. And I'll be planting all over here today. And all these beds too, I will get the seeds in and we will have food grown by me. Yay me. I was laughing at my other video. I said I have my holding bed, but I really do have a holding bed. See, it's behind the garbage can. I'm just watering my uh, morning glories here. They're, start, they're starting to grow really good now. Anyways, I'm going to pull some of this and put it up front. Oh, it smells so good. So that's my holding bed. That's funny, right? Got to move the garbage can to get in here to get this. Dug some of the Solomon seal out. I'm going to put it in here. Well, I finally got the last bag of mulch down. That only took me a week. <laughs> and I planted a little more of the Solomon seal over there. So it'll run all along here. And that's all I need. This will spread. The flowers are so beautiful. I, I want it to run this way. So I'll keep pruning it from this side because it's going to be my peony garden behind me. One day. Okay. I think I've had about enough. Oh, no. It's dry, thank goodness. The plastic blew on it. Well, it's done, it looks nice. Um, still just a little bit wet. I'm just gonna leave it here to dry. The plane sounds like it's coming down. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna clean this up and then I'm going upstairs. I did wanna say to everybody though, um, while I'm sitting here, I know it seems like I buy a lot of stuff and what do I do with it? Well, a lot of it I buy for videos and then I donate it uh, back or I have a girlfriend that's working for a charity and when I do the Ralph room, um, I'm gonna donate it to her charity because they help people set up and get up on their feet um, and things like that. It's an organization that's up north, but we were talking about it and I thought it'd be a great place to donate. We could make a really nice apartment for somebody with some of the stuff and then they they donate so much money like to buy furniture and that. But I said we could do beautiful apartments on used furniture and stuff. But um, so I don't know if this is going to go anywhere or I'm going to do any videos on it or anything like that. But I'll definitely donate to her. So um, and if I do, we'll get into a little more details then. But yes, guys, I'm not a hoarder. And if I kept everything I bought, I'd be a total hoarder. I know. I do have a lot of stuff though. And if it's really pretty princess, I keep it. And if it's just to do videos like Easter, Halloween, Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, they're more just props guys. So just so y'all know, cause I know you must be in your head thinking, where is she putting all this stuff? <laughs> I guess I would think that too, right? Even if I did, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to clean it. I have trouble struggling to do what I do every day as it is. I'm going to close this video. Loves everybody. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Just thought I'd explain myself a little bit. I am closing. I know I said that downstairs. I am just having myself a nice tea and I'm sitting out here on the treehouse deck and I'm just loving my life right now. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. It really helps my channel out. 
63% of the people who watch don't subscribe and they watch regularly. So if you're one of those people, push that button. It doesn't cost anything. Loves.